Hey guys, Oni here with Root Negative, and let's get cracking with another Factorio multiplayer episode. We've got uh, we've got oil, advanced oil processing researching currently, so that'll be uh, good when we finally get that up and running. And uh, we've got well, we've got a fair bit of work to be doing. Um, we're kind of struggling along a little bit. Uh, I just finished making the ex explosives uh, over here, so I'm thinking that two stacks for right now is enough. Yeah, that'll be tons, I think. Yeah. Because I, I didn't, I did put a uh, long inserter, and it's actually fast enough to where I can get the sulfur before the other inserters get it. Yeah, right. So Nothing that's good. Like it. That's awesome. Uh, let's check our. Once again, our light oil is getting pretty high up there. I guess we can fix that once we get this advanced oil processing, though. And you're working on expanding the red circuit production? Yep. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Now, did you already automate the production of uh, laser turrets? No, I forgot. <laughs> All right, I can do that then. So, five steel plates, five electron. I can actually use your electron circuit thing down here for this. Yeah, please do. Because that's got uh, plenty of capacity. Let me see. I can squeeze an A in. Squeezing in a uh, assembler in here somewhere. So it needs batteries, electronic circuits, and steel plates. So, could squeeze it in. Uh... No, not right there. Hmm. Okay, so and your reasoning behind trying to expand the red circuit production so early is for what? Robot ports? Yeah, partly. And it's, it always, always seems like red circuits just don't go fast enough. Yeah. You always seem to be waiting a little bit for them. So I'm hoping to avoid that. I see. Okay. I mean, red circuits are okay. What I don't like is how fast the processing units so the blue circuits craft. Uh, yeah, they're painful. <laughs> You're gonna craft them and then go AFK. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that this is not gonna interfere with that line there. So make like an underground thing here, and then just like that, because I know that they can grab it from an underground belt, but they can't insert it from one. Okay, so I see batteries now. Once again, batteries are way over there still, so we're just going to do it manually. I've got a really nice uh, red circuit build that I'll do in a little oh, bit. I, I missed it. <laughs> you missed it? I'll come see it when I come back. No, no, no. I'll uh, I'll do one in a little while. Ooh, we didn't mean to do that. It may take all. What's your um? Oh, you just did a smart inserter here. That's not grabbing batteries at all. I see. Yeah, because I was going to drop a robot port down and then set it to a logistics condition. Okay. That was the plan anyway. I've got the robot port now. It just took me about half an hour to craft everything. <laughs> Where do you think about putting that one? Um, just on top of the oil network. Ah, uh, yes. Do you have enough to oh, stretch it out there? No. we It won't be okay. hooked up to anything, just to start right. with. Oh, it's just its own network, okay. Yeah, it'll just be for the, the thing, and then when we hook it up, it'll work. A chest here. Okay, we are auto crafting laser turrets now. Uh, I think a stack is enough to keep on hand at one, any one time. Nice. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. So I've just kicked out. Oh, nice. Just kicked it up a notch. So I probably doubled it. 
now. Question is, is if we're gonna have enough copper cable production to give it to supply all of those with copper cables. Yeah, I was just saying that then. Um, we could. I mean, technically, we could upgrade this. I mean, this is crafting speed 0.5. The blue one is crafting speed 0.75. Not a whole lot faster, but it is faster, technically. So we can try that. Yeah, that was going to be. We don't have any modules system. yet. One next plan. Let's do that. Boom. That and it, even the fastest is not fast enough to keep up with the production of copper cables. I see what you're doing. Are you gonna double the? Are you gonna put another inserter on the line? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Okay. There shall be enough. How? What? How, uh, do you see that line has three on it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't even. That should be enough, though. Oh, yeah. It's keeping up. Sweet. Yeah, how's it looking around here? Now... Bet you our plastics become a problem. Uh, possibly. I mean, we do have three going, and really the only time it ever stops is because we run out of petroleum. And it looks like we did run out of petroleum here. Not run out of it, but it is starting to. I mean, you can always use more petroleum. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make here is that petroleum is always low, heavy oil and light oil are always high. At least until we get that advanced oil processing up and running. And I wish that we could craft... Oh, that's why... There's... Oh, duh, that's my fault. We're not even making blue science packs because I forgot to uh, refill this with... Um... And I can make a request just now. Sweet. So you request 50 smart inserters. Must say, after uh... we've turned that autosave off, or I turn my autosave off, it's working much smoother now. Yeah, I'll... Seems to be working a lot better now. Hmm. So they'll keep that stock with 50 smart inserters if they can. I'll be very slowly, but still. And why are you guys not making these anymore? Okay, brilliant. Um, uh, somehow your red circuit network here got broken somehow. Like, there's no red circuits over here anymore. I mean, not um, red circuits, but um, your red network? Yeah, I know. I've uh, turned it off and switched okay. it over to logistics. So it's a little bit smarter now. Right, right, what I'm saying is, like, it's not exporting the inserters anymore, so it can't make smart inserters. Hmm? See how it's not uh, doing anything with the inserters in here? The fast ones? That's because the smartest was only set to do it on a network condition. And it has 50 in there, so... But it should, should work regardless. That says greater than 50. Ah, right. Uh, that was weird. Oh, stop working again. What the hell? The export is greater than 40. And it is, so it's exporting. Okay, that's very odd. Alright, well that works now. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out though, because otherwise that wouldn't... Uh we would have been in a bit of strife. <laughs> Good word. And uh, yes, we are going... Oh, I like I like this little build here. This is good. We are starting to run out of um, plastic, you're right. Yeah, I thought we might. So, we can't really do anything about it until we get advanced oil processing. Just because adding, yep. adding more chemical plants will only help the problem. It'll only make it worse. Yep. 
exactly. Now, what we do here with the laser turret thing is you go with a smart inserter and then limit it to the uh, network. So less than 50. And that way you don't have to Oops. set a hard limit on the box. Okay. So basically you're just doing the same thing only with the inserter instead of the chest. Well, yes. Um, but it works globally. So, for example, if something goes and picks that up and then puts oh, it like into if, a... If, if we if we deconstruct one of our turrets somehow, mm -hmm. that'll count towards the, glo the global number of... Uh... Yes. Okay. All right, well, that makes more sense then. It's just a smarter way of doing things. Wow. I do wish they were faster, though, but we have better things to worry about, though. So, What's that? Well, we have to get this advanced oil processing, and then after that, we have to... Uh, well, I guess after that, we kind of open, right? Yeah, we're, we're heading towards a good spot. I mean, we do need um, substations to start this solar panel farm. Yeah. So, would you want to do that next? I... Yeah, I think solar panel... Uh, solar power is the next thing we should really focus on. Okay, it looks like the light oil has jammed the system again, so I'm going to go fix that again. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll wait till we get this advanced oil processing because we're so close. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen this before, but I'm just going to set up a quick um, build. And it's a really, over here. Hang on. <laughs> really useful factory. Like, ridiculously useful. What are you doing? I'm not there yet. That's alright. You're not missing much. Are you kidding? This is like the build of the century. Like you just said. No, it's not. <laughs> but it's useful. Okay. Very, very useful. Oh, thank heavens. There it is. Okay, so... Let's get substations. Have you got a blue right, so print yet? Yeah, we got blueprints. We should have them. Alright. Get one and get a blueprint of that. Actually, wait. Don't get a blueprint of that. Now I get a blueprint of that. Uh, what'd you change? I put a requested chest in there. Okay. All right, blueprinted. So that's okay. That's a nice little modular setup. So you know, in this kind of thing, we can build anything. Ah, so we yeah, just two assembly machines and yeah, okay, I see what you're talking about. It's a nice little bit of uh, stuff packed right into that one little area. Hmm. Okay. So we've got advanced oil processing. I'll come over and help with the uh, the build. Because it'll be okay, pretty big so to get the cracking up and going. Yeah, and we also need to start making sure that the refineries themselves have water, so I'll do that. All right. I need a couple... Uh, we, yeah, I'll make a couple pumps. Two pumps. I just need to grab some pipes. Unless you just stole them all. Nope, you didn't. Good. I'm going to go ahead and increase the limit on these underground pipes to 100 instead of 50. Is that you? Yeah, I just got an email. Someone oh, nice. loves me. <laughs> oh, no. like, oh, nice. Yeah. It's so cool, yeah. man. I wish I got emails. No, that's the work email. <laughs> that's not a good email. Sorry, it's the weekend. Yeah, I don't answer it. There's no way I'm answering it. It's just not going to happen. Sorry, guys. Ask me later. All right, so... Can actually... So is it, is it cool for me to turn off this uh, regular oil processing and start doing it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. And of course, why would it... Let me put the oil in the same spot. It has to reverse the inputs because that would be too easy if the oil stayed on the left side. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Tell so, me a boat here. Sorry, dude. I guess. <laughs> I was like, uh, I think it's that. So what is the... Oh, the oil's on the on the right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Damn I was it. like, it'd be, too, it'd be too easy if it was on the same side. Yeah. That's that's my bad because I did, I couldn't no, remember sorry. which side was which. So I can just do this. 
Actually, let's do this. Nope, not that yet, actually. Okie dokie, uh, what we'll do is we'll come up here now. Oh yeah, this will work nice. This will work real nice. Let me do this instead. Let me put this here in slot one and slot two and then limit those to only those two slots. So now it's locked to slot one so I can just do my hotkeys. Right. Okay, I can do water. Uh, the water actually needs to come up somewhere else. an underground pipe I did it like that. Uh, oh, that's probably too many. I'll get 20 chemical plants, that should be enough, right? Oh yeah, that's a lot more than that, that would be. <laughs> oh, damn it. Why is that oil? Why are you oil? Oh, because, uh, come on. Don't be a, give me a break. <laughs> what happened? No, I, I, I got it. It's just, I'm being, I was dumb. Okay. Uh, let's do this instead. It's gonna be kind of ugly, but it'll work. Okay, so I've got the beginnings of the cracking facility up. Alright, and all the refineries have water and oil. Excellent. Now the question is, do we have enough power to support 6 or 20 extra chemical plants? Don't know. Let's see, we are at about 13 megawatts and we have the capacity for about 20. Let me turn off these fucking alarms. Sorry, language. Why did I drop the F-bomb? Sorry about that. <laughs> just, just, every five minutes, like, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm like, come on, just shut up. I've actually, my alarms are turned right down. Yeah, mine are, mine are very low now. You should bleep that out in your video. <laughs> no, it's not getting bleeped. Alright, so you are cracking all light oil to petroleum, and do you want to start cracking heavy oil to light oil, or no? Uh, yeah, I will, but I'm just thinking... If I was smart, I would have done this a little bit differently. What do you mean? Yeah, that's where I want it. I'm just changing it a little bit, that's all. Okay. I'm just sitting here watching you, judging you. <laughs> You're taking notes, Tony. You're taking yep. notes. Let me get my pen. God, hang on. I'm going to go over here and check on this top left area because it keeps getting hammered. Right. Might add some more turrets up there. No worries. Probably want to reinforce that wall, too. By the time you get back, hopefully I've got this up and running. Do we want, I mean, our power situation is kind of not in peril right now, but we don't have that much power to spare after these chemical plants, but do we want to eventually start putting down these uh, radar dishes? 
Yeah, radar is probably after solar, I'm thinking. Yeah. Alright, so that's, that's reinforced now. Blue science is getting backed up, that's very nice. Very nice. And right now, the one thing we're kind of missing is plastic, so... And you're fixing that right now. Oh yeah, I'm fixing it. Okay, so that's going to do that. And that's probably overkill with a fair amount. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Good sign, though. I mean, we have tons of oil to, to mine out over here, so... I don't know. It's not like we have a shortage of it. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, underground pipes from each of these t plants and each of these other plants? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Also, I think it's a good idea for a break. Okay, your turn yeah. for the outro. My turn for the outro. Outro.